Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over another problem in our differentiation collection. We're going to be focusing on how to find the derivative of the inverse cotangent of 1 over x. Before we get started, we're going to do a real quick review on some rules and properties um, of exponents that are applicable to the problem solving process that we'll be carrying out today. The first has to do with the property um, of exponents. Okay, The particular property of exponents that we're looking at is the reciprocal property of exponents. And it's given by 1 over x. We know if we have 1 over x, the exponent is 1. It can be written as x raised to the negative 1 power. All right, that's the reciprocal property of exponents. And then there are some differentiation rules that we should have mastered that we need to know um, for this problem. The first one is the power rule. So if you're differentiating x to the n, x to the n prime is n x to the n minus 1. Okay, the next is the uh, differentiation rule for inverse trig functions, we're looking at the derivative of the arc cotangent or inverse cotangent function. The derivative of the inverse cotangent function is negative 1 over 1 plus x squared. So you need to remember that when you're differentiating, so prime right here, when you're differentiating the functions, the trig functions that start with c cosine cotangent or cosecant, you always have a negative component in the derivative, all right? So that's a little trick that can help you um, distinguish between positive and negative derivatives. Now, another rule that you want to keep in mind for this problem is the chain rule, okay? So if you want to find the derivative of a composite function f of g of x, then you use the chain rule, all right? So f of g of x prime is basically the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function and that multiplied by the derivative of the inner function. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the problem. So the original problem was for us to find um, dy dx where uh, y is equal to the arc cotangent of 1 over x. Alright, so let's get started. Now, uh, what we want to keep in mind first is that this function is a composite function. Okay, so how do we differentiate composite functions? You use the chain rule. Alright, so anytime you see differentiation of composite functions, you want to think chain rule. Alright, so to do that, we're going to decompose the function. So let's take out the outer function. The outer function is f of x, and that's the arc cotangent or inverse cotangent of x. And then the inner function is uh, g of x. Okay, so g of x is this uh, rational function, 1 over x. Now to apply the chain rule, we are going to go ahead and differentiate both functions, the outer and the inner function. So the derivative of the outer function using the differentiation rule we talked about earlier is negative 1 over 1 plus x squared. And then the derivative of the inner function, you ask yourself, well, what's the derivative of 1 over x? Now, you might get tempted to use the quotient rule here. But wherever possible, if you can rewrite the function to avoid using the chain rule or the quotient rule, please do that. It will save you time and it's less risky, okay? So we can apply the reciprocal property of exponents and rewrite this as x to the negative 1. And then we can apply the power rule to differentiate this, okay? So if we apply the chain rule here, it's going to be nx to the n minus 1, so n is negative 1, so the derivative will be negative x raised to negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2 and this can be rewritten as negative 1 over x squared. Okay, so this is another rule that you can keep in mind. 
So we can toss in rule number four, which is that the derivative of one over x is negative one over x squared. Now there's a common mistake that most students make when differentiating one over x and let's highlight that real quick. Um, something, something to note is that the derivative of one over x is not the natural logarithm of x. This is a big mistake a lot of students make, okay? So you keep that in mind. So why do students make this mistake? They make the, this mistake because the integral of 1 over x dx is the natural logarithm of the absolute value of x plus c. So they basically confuse the differentiation, the integration formula and the, and the differentiation formula for 1 over x. So you want to keep this um, common error um, in mind, okay? All right, so now we're going to apply the chain rule. Um, so the chain rule is as follows. It's going to be uh, the derivative of the outer function, f prime, um, evaluated at the inner f prime of g of x and then we'll multiply that by the derivative of the inner function that's basically what the chain rule is okay so just to show you what's going on visually we're going to take g of x the inner function and we're going to plug it into f of x I'm sorry f prime of x and then we're going to multiply that expression by the derivative of the inner function all right so let's go ahead and write it out y prime I'm gonna color code it before I simplify okay y prime is f prime of g of x which is going to be negative 1 over 1 plus instead of x squared we're gonna put in g of x all right so that's going to be 1 over x write it as a rational expression and then we'll multiply that by g prime of x which is um, let me change my color here which is negative 1 over x square okay alright so that's basically how the application of the chain rule to this um, particular problem looks like now let's go ahead and um, simplify this. So that's going to give us negative 1 over and then we can write, so we have a square here, let's not forget that. So let's simplify that. We're going to have 1 plus 1 over x squared is just 1 square which is 1 over x squared and then this is being multiplied by negative 1 over x squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and just multiply. We can distribute this x squared across this, these two terms, right? We have a parenthesis here and just basically distribute x squared to 1 over x squared and distribute x squared to uh, 1 to 1. Alright, and then minus times minus, we know what that is, slash and dash, minus times minus is plus. When we carry out the distribution, this is what we are going to get. y prime is equal to 1 over x squared times 1 is just x squared plus x squared over x squared. If we simplify that, we we'll end up with the final answer 1 over 1 plus x squared. All right? So that's your final um, answer for the derivative of the arc cotangent of 1 over x so is y prime equals 1 over 1 plus x square. Okay, so that's that. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of um, differentiation, to give us a thumbs up, your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments about the contents of this tutorial or if you want to see um, the, the derivative of any um, functions being done, just uh, place your questions in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to assist you. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to more uh, differentiation uh, problems in our differentiation co uh, collection. More clips, support resources, and the entire collection can be found at mathgutserve.com under the AP Calculus section. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.